Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for coming. Yes, thank you. I see Maury and KF Stu. Maury, Maury was here at nine thirty-two. So she stay. She still may be here. Good morning, KF Stu. She said okay. she's not gonna miss us today. Oh, good, good, good. I hated the the cup she wanted. So, hey, Sarah, cousin. Hey, Quintia. How do you say your name? Quintia. 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 Then I was fixing to say I probably butcher it. Quintia. Okay. Good morning, Eddie. Good hey, morning. Hey, Eddie. My puppy dog is trying to say good morning. I'm trying to get him to go play. Let's let him <laughs> say good morning. He's so nosy when I start talking, he wants to see who I'm talking to because hey, I'm usually Bo. just talking to him. Good morning from Bo. Now, Bo, you're going to have to go on and let me be on here selling stuff now so I can <laughs> buy you some more doggy treats and toys because you really don't need them. <laughs> he was disagreeing and he goes, look at me. No, don't look at me. Yeah, he's being a star. He's the center of attention. Hey, <laughs> Sue. Yeah. Good morning, love. How are you? Good morning, love. Yeah. Good morning. Pat, good morning. How is Singapore today? Man. I got your stuff ready, Pat. I'm going to get Lucy to talk me through it in a little while because she told me to go ahead and send it yesterday. So I got it ready last night. Okay, cool. Um, I'm up. loving these early mornings with y'all. I'm loving it. It's nice to be on a schedule and like. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. This one is old. I got stuff everywhere. Hey, Heather, darling. That's my daughter, y'all. Hello, good morning. I hadn't even seen her yet this morning. <laughs> good to see you in here. So who all got rain last night besides me and Teresa? We're flooded. I put some pictures on Instagram. I was getting scared it was going to come in my house. Good thing thank like, the Lord it did. We're like a good 40 feet from the road, and that floods before our house. So I think they had that like every hundred year flood not too long ago here, and like this house didn't flood, but the neighbor's houses did. <laughs> so we got lucky. Yeah, that's a blessing. Oh, yeah. All right, they're ready. Had floods. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. You ready? I'm not. I'm not a guest any longer. You can go first. You want to? <laughs> I'll go first. I don't know if I have as much okay. respect as you, but I'm gonna try for it. What do we got here? This I think is adorable. It's one of those shaped candles, and it is an owl, and it's baby. It's really cute. Um, it is from Village Candles in Gainesburg, Tennessee. <laughs> There's your sticker. And I'm going to start this off at $5. And this one does have a little, like, wear to his ear, but nothing serious. Looking. Oh Those have really come back in style. We all had them back in the day. We had to have them and they're back now. <laughs> this is so cute. They used to have a, um, a lighthouse, but it wasn't very fancy. It was like all one solid color. These little guys look shiny. Anyway, so there's that. Oh, Quintia is in for five. Thank you, Quintia. All right. I mean, there's a pretty others. So if anybody else is interested, just 
Uh, I'll let y'all keep waiting on that, and I'm gonna show my second item. And it is this little Capice bowl. It is from Z Galleries. It is five inch gold brick, and it is going to be five dollars start. Um, and it's very cute. I like the Capice shell stuff. That is oh, pretty. Yeah. I guess I should have started it at a different price so I wouldn't get confused, but that's okay. So, um, owls are back. Really. We can sell the owls to Quintia, and then I still have this. If anyone's interested, just let me know, and I'm going to throw it on over to Teresa. I have new inbox for one dollar a little tray it's a little tin tray and it has a recipe on it for blueberry orange nut bread doesn't that sound good and it's new in the box it's vintage but it, so it's no stop it is avon it is a pretty little tin tray it's very lightweight it says 1982 i was having my first child then I know Lucy wasn't born for quite a while yet. But <laughs> and if you're interested in this, and, um, it would be something you could sell if you're a reseller because it does have the box and all. And I know that helps it. And that's one dollar if anybody's interested in it. Little, it's a little tin tray. OK, and then next, keeping up with the vintage, I have a serving bowl. And I have $3 on it. It's a pretty good size. But it's the blue bow geese that we had back in the 90s. It does say it is dishwasher and microwave safe. Oh, it says, uh, yeah, microwave. it was made in Korea. I guess it must have still been making stuff back then in Korea. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it is a dark, uh, like navy blue and a cream color. But it is, you know, we would hold like some mashed potatoes or green beans. It's a serving bowl. Or if it's like some of my bunch would eat cereal in it, probably. Or their ice cream. It's just, it's, it is a serving bowl for $3. I remember that blue bow piece. We had that when I was a kid in the 90s. I had it all over my kitchen. I tormented my children in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my two. $1, $3. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Y'all let her know if you're um, interested in either of those. Good morning, Maury. Good morning, Sugar Plum. Good morning, Carl. And Russell, good morning. Okay. Um, next up, Russell, he's Russell is my cousin. Oh, Russell? Hi, cousin Russell. <laughs> um, metal um made in taiwan and they are hummingbirds and i guess those are hibiscus flowers not too sure probably one not of the too sure. <laughs> <laughs> they hooked her up with the plants this year anyway i'm going to start the pair off at five dollars they are metallic like they just need like probably a glass shade in them. Um, and these are called hummingbirds. Okay. And so yeah, they've got a pretty like swirly pattern to them, and um, they're in pretty good shape. So there's that. And then I have, oh goodness, I have some restaurant where these are Buffalo China. They're like little sauce dishes or maybe you could put your fruit cups or something like that. Um, so this one's Buffalo 021 or 012A. I'm not doing it all. China and this one's got a different stamp on the back, so they're the all the same pieces. Um, just one of them has a different stamp. 
because it'll be five dollars for the set of three and add it again is buffalo china if you collect restaurant wear that's my favorite to collect oops my c button sticks y'all bear with me <laughs> all right and that's my two if you're interested just let me know so that was fast <laughs> I have this one lonely little strawberry salt shaker. I have one dollar on it. It does have the little plug in it, stopper, whatever. It is in perfect condition. It is vintage. And I know if you just do a little tear tray or, you know, sometimes I, I don't mind collecting them just for decor. But this one dollar little strawberry. That is cute. Yeah, it's cute for decor. And then I have the slag glass, and I have it for $5. And it's like a toothpick holder or whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it is in perfect condition. I love that. That's some little, like, I guess little side handle type little things on it here, but it is small. It's about three, four, in no, about three inches tall, approximately. But it's a beautiful blue slag glass. On the pedestal. Okay. That is so pretty. A lot of people collect those tiny vases. They do. And that's my two. All right. Listen, and I like to keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next up, I have this piece of hand blown glass. It looks almost I don't know how to describe it. It is green and it has like um, the white running through it. I know when it's colorful spots, it's called the confetti um, glass, but this has no color to it. So I'm not sure what you call the white one. Um, it does have the little pond tail mark where it was broken off when they were blowing it. And I'm gonna start this one, $6. Morning, Michelle P., which I think is a bargain for some blown glass, but I got a bargain, so hey. And I would say it's about six to seven. So there's that pretty piece. And then, um... I also have this panda mug that didn't sell yesterday. I'm going to mark them down to $2 today because I just need my mugs to go. $2 panda mug. So I can bring some more mugs home because I just like them. I can't help mm -hmm. it. So anyway, he's chewing on. He's got his bamboo in his pocket for lunch. He's at London Red. He's super cute. He's vintage. He's pretty clean. No chips, no cracks. And there's that guy. Hey, oh my vintage. Thank you hey, for coming. Hey, Kim. Wow, hey, Kim. Michelle and Junk to be Loved and everybody else that I missed. I didn't miss you on purpose, but hey. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Junk to be Loved. Me either. I don't miss y'all on purpose. I just. And Shelby. I realized that Sarah said Shelby, her husband, is here too. So hello to oh. both of y'all. <clears throat> this is um, an older um, tray because it does have some crazen and it's not like the crazen they make now to make it look old. But it says every summer has a story. And this is, you could do your divided little vegetables or whatever and you that you wanted to in it. I do have $8 on it because it is a really nice um, dish. It's pretty for summertime. And it's, it's pretty heavy, pretty substantial weight there okay and then next for five dollars i have this pretty little asian um inspired vase i would like to know if your divided dish is heavy it, it is I, i'm guessing i could weigh it but i'm guessing it's at least a couple of pounds yeah yeah i mean it's not lightweight i mean it's a ceramic an older ceramic. And then this vase is 
doesn't have any markings that I could tell. Well, it does look like it has essay. Or it does have like maybe somebody made it handmade and put their initials, but it doesn't have any other kind of uh, markings on it. So it looks handmade. Like my mother used to take a ceramic class. That's one thing I never did do. I'd rather have been cooking or doing something else. It is very clean inside. It is glazed inside. So and I have five on it. That's my two. If y'all are interested, let me know. Yeah, it would be great for cheese and crackers. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Cheese and crackers. Okay, so I got some more buffalo china. And this is the last of the buffalo china I have. And this is gonna be one, two, three, four bowls. <clears throat> Um, these two are stamped buffalo china. They don't have the buffalo. And these two, let's see, have the buffalo. And they have a black rim, so if you're like collecting restaurant wear and you have a certain color theme, you go, that's the color they are. So you get a set of four for eight. Um, I'm just going to put RW bowls so you know restaurant wear bowls and so those are these I think they're super cute and then this one I think is a Shenango China piece but it's really 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 pretty I think it's great with a big like candle in the center of it it is texturized and it has those little black markings on it and there is the back shenango china usa again another good restaurant where and it'll be a three dollar start and let's see michelle Poe. Y'all are all saying hi to each other again and confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that is my two items. If you guys decide you like any of those, just let me know. Excuse me. And there you are. Please pardon my sinuses. I woke up with a terrible sinuses this morning, but they're getting better. I'm going to do a choice of for $3 at the Avon bottles. This is the little... Well, I'm backwards. This is a little poodle snoodle one. <laughs> and um, it had sweet honesty, I believe, or sweet, no, sweet something. No, Sonnet. The Sonnet perfume. I remember, I was trying to think. And um, it's in very good condition. And then this was a little uh, powder shaker. And it's a milk glass and very retro. And it had honeysuckle uh, powder fl um, flavor. Listen to me, scent. You can have either one of these or both of them. $3 each if you would like them. And then I have a quiche dish, and it is a corning ware. And I had uh, nine, and I marked it down to seven today because it didn't sell the other day. It is seven, and it, it does is marked corning ware. It is very nice if you're going to make a quiche or anything you wanted to really in it. But these are very nice to have. I have several of them. Hey, Aunt Marion. Marion Pratt is my aunt. Seven dollars. Okay. Seven. Hey, Marion. I think my dad has an Aunt Marion. It was mm -hmm. so she'd be my great aunt. Yeah, she's the aunt in Illinois that I was visiting. Aw. And so I have the, the three dollar choice of Avon or the seven for the dish. That's mine too. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I got I got more in more you want the dish oh, for seven okay thank you thank you thank you all right thank you Maury. and my next item is really pretty it is got a sticker that says it's hand blown um it is a red ruby glass and i really want to keep it but i can't keep everything Y'all hear me say that a lot. Um, so it is red ruby glass and it is footed. So it's got these little swirl feet on the 
bottom. It would look great with like either a candle or fairy lights in them or in it rather. And it's a little three footed base like thingy. And I'm going to start this out at $15. And so there's this bad boy. I so there's this bad me. boy. It's really neat. It's really neat. And let's see. And then I have this, and it's like a um. I see Maury's in for fifteen. Thank you, Maury. Good morning, Stephanie. This is like a big um. I think you could put like a glass bowl on the top, oh, or, a candle, top. or a candle. And we're mute. She echoing. echoing. Okay, well, okay. And it's holding up a little cornucopia with a little doohickey on top. <laughs> and this is, I'm going to start out at $10. I sold one recently to Joanne. It was like a gold tone and he had two different candelabras, but it was like a little person. It's a nice little sculptural thing. Stephanie, see Maury and for thank you, Maury. Greetings, casual flipper. All right, and I don't see any other interest, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell it to Maury. Thank you very much, Maury. And here's Teresa. Okay, I have a pretty dish for fifteen. It is large and it is heavy. Ooh. Um, it is beautiful though. It would be very pretty. You could do a coffee table or a table center, or you could put, you know, anything you wanted to in it. All of you stone collectors could fill it full of stones because it's pr very pretty and heavy enough. It has the handles, and it was um, artisan made. It has initials on the back, and it has like a paint drip or something. I have tried and tried to get that off, but I don't know if it could come off. I didn't want to damage it. But again, it is heavy. It is very beautiful and I started at 15 okay. and then I also have a Wilson pan if any of you have a, a new baby turning one or any occasion to do a need a one for cake I'm not a cake baker I you know tell them what it looked like but I have five dollars on that. And if you know about the Wilson cake pans, they go for a lot. And it's a two thousand no wait, no it isn't, doesn't say. It's a twenty one oh five dash eleven ninety four is the make if you look it up to see. And it's by Wilson. And if for the uh it tells you where to visit if you need some kind of replacement label or anything for it. I don't know what all that'd be, but anyway. I have five dollars on it. I don't remember if I said that or not. This cake pan. We have any cake bakers out there? Know anybody that needs one? Hey, I mean, we're all gonna have one in our age at least every decade. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that for five, and this for fifteen, and that's my two. Oh, it's such a pretty uh, platter. Like um, Stephanie was saying, it looks like it's from a from a boutique. Mm -hmm. I'm bad at being the um, my Okay. This is new and in box. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas musical Snow Globe. And it is from the 25 years anniversary of the Nightmare Before Christmas. You wind it and it blows the snow by itself. I think I'm amazed because ours didn't do that. And then it's got the three little bad kids from the show <laughs> and this is a $25 start. and it plays a song uh, what is this from the movie and that one um I'm going to offer these books I did today get the pair of two for $5 
It is Adolph Huxley's A Brave New World and Animal Farm by George Orwell. Two very good classics. $5 if anybody's interested. And then I need to stand up and find more stuff. All right. Thank you, guys. Here's Teresa. More Avon. I have lots of Avon. This is a $6, and it is a ruby red, if I don't drop it, a ruby red little glass goblet candle holder. It has been used for a candle, candle holder by us in the past, but it does have Avon written on the bottom of it. I think it says Avon. You can probably see it better on there. Avon 20. Yes. Oh, yeah. You can see it better on there than I can see in here. It, it's about six inches tall, approximately. I'm guessing. I'm, oh, let me see. See how good of a guesser I am. Well, no, it's more about five, about five inches. Went too far off. And this is this little pedestal is, is really cute. And it's six dollars. If anybody's interested in it. Now, the next thing I have, I have four of these little plates, and they're a girl, and this one's about hats, and I got them for $6. They originally go for 12 and up, and if I put them online, I could get more than that, probably, but this one is it's a square. I think they're, yeah. they're like 10 by 10 plates. You could do them for decorative, or you could use them if you wanted to, because I have a set of four of them, and every one of them is the same thing, but different. Um, like this one, shopping for gloves. Like this one with shopping for hats. So we have shopping for gloves, shopping for hats. And then we have shopping for bags. Purse bags. Sorry for the noise. And shopping for shoes. So there's four plates. They're $6 each. If you just want one, if you just particularly want to shop for bags or shop for shoes, I'll sell them one or I'll sell them all four. However, and they are heavy. They're pretty heavy, and they have. Let me show you. They have them. They, apparently, we got them from Marshalls for six ninety nine at some time or another. I'll show you the back. Hi, perfecting pearls. Hey, perfecting pearls. And there's four. Oh, I'm sorry for the noise. I'm loud. Gloves, shoes, bags, purses, and what I say? Gloves, shoes, whatever. Bags and purses. I don't know. Anyway, there's four of them. Six dollars each. Oh, Maury, you want all four of them, Maury? Thank you so much, hon. You're so sweet. Those are you gonna enjoy them. They are adorable. And that's mine. And thank you again, Maury. All right. Okay. Um, up next I have this really cool um it's made in the Philippines, but to me it kind of looks Italian. And it's you know, it's See, had its better days. It's been used, but I still think it's pretty awesome. It's got like this 3D image on the front, um, and it's a little lavender flower pot. And there's the inside. It's almost like um, it's very terracotta, I want to say, and it's painted. And this thing's gonna be an six dollar start. And I'd say it probably weighs two to three pounds. It's pretty heavy duty. It's really cute. But there are no like chips or cracks, just like wear to the paint. And then it's got its made in Philippines sticker on the bottom. And then I have a beautiful Amberina crackle glass vase with the yellow handle. So it like starts off orange at the and gets red towards the top and like the yellow elements tend to glow under black light okay thanks pat and um so i'm going to start this one out at 18. it's a really nice piece if there's any glass collectors out there um, i guess this would be like a cruet and then my next I was at my two. Yeah, that's my two. I could do another one. I wasn't even paying attention. No, go ahead. <laughs> I 
I have these mid-century modern glass glasses. <laughs> they have a teal print and a gray print on them. I'm going to sell them the set. I have four for $12. Start the bid at 12 I have four of them. They're in perfect condition. I can't show y'all four of them because I surely will at one time because I surely will drop them. But I have four. If anybody's interested in them, start them at 12. They have a heavy bottom, so they set good. Have a little indention here. They, I don't, I didn't find any markings as far as, you know, a company or anything, but there's numerous companies that could be. Lucy, do you have any, you have any idea what um, they have made them? I'm not too sure. Like I would say Libby, but usually Libby has that little squiggly L on the bottom. Right. I thought that or Hazel Atlas, but they, I mean, unless yeah. they're older than I think, which they may be since they're not marked, but then again, that doesn't always matter in glasses. Okay. Yeah. So moving on, I'm going to lucid hide your eyes. I'm going to show this cup from yesterday. <laughs> I'm hiding my eyes. <laughs> it, it's a red old Miss. Oh. Anybody's interested in it? I said it had the colonel. Uh, colonel was that who I called it yesterday? I don't know. She anything. Colonel Sanders, which I think is great. <laughs> I don't know anything about sports, obviously. Oh, and I today I'm gonna let him go for a dollar today. He didn't sell yesterday. So. Oh, Ms. Mug, one dollar. College stuff still sells well if you guys are resellers, and that's an awesome. Mug. Yes, this. You, I don't know how much you could get online, but you could probably get a pretty good bid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. Oh, more you want this? Okay. Yay! It's so loose that you can quit worrying about it. <laughs> she liked the looks of it. <laughs> it is a good looking go. Oh, this mug, and that was a good deal on this glasses. They look very atomic. Barware is hot right now, you guys. Okay, so this one I'm going to do for 15. This one isn't crackle glass, but I have a swirl pattern to the glass. Maybe if I turn it sideways, there you go. You can see it a little better. And it is like a dark ruby red towards the top, amberina towards the bottom, little yellow handle. That also glows under black light, the yellow part. And this is a dollar start. I love my mugs. I have too many of them. And yeah, super cute. No chips or cracks. And that's the little palm tail mark. And then. I have a blue creamer and it's like hob now. It's footed and it says Canawa glass, handcrafted glass from Dunbar, West Virginia. And it's pretty cute. Uh, let me see. And this one I'm gonna start, I was looking to see if it had a Ponzo mark, which I don't see one. And I'm going to start this one off at $10. It is a good little creamer. And it does still have its partial sticker. All right. And that's my team. Thank you, Pat. And the reason she writes in the comments is if you think about it, that you wanted it, you can go back and see how much it was. I've done that so much. I, I know how that works and I like it. <laughs> I'm sitting there and I say, oh, I'm just pining over that. I think I'll go back and see how much it was and buy it. This is a little jar, a little apothecary jar. It's a small one, just decorative. You could put something in. I guess I had eight. I marked it down to five. It's very, very colorful. It's in perfect condition. You gotta learn how to work the camera thing here. Okay. And again, it's just a couple inches tall. And it's five dollars. 
Okay, next I marked from 28 to 25, and that might sound like a lot, but I love it. I really don't want to let it go. So. That's <laughs> worth it. This is very, very vintage. Um, back in the day, it was for butter on the table. Today, it's for fairy lights or whatever else you want it to be. A cheese ball is what I said, but um, I better just do one piece at a time. It is very, very beautiful. Um, it didn't glow that I could tell. I did put my black light on it, but it didn't really. It made it a little bit lighter for a few minutes, but it didn't really glow. But still, it's gorgeous whether it glows or not. It glow with some fairy lights in it. It has the the it's vintage look. I'm 25. sorry. That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, 25. And there's the little lid, the little square. That's a very vintage looking lid top there. And then Pat was wondering what colors are on your apothecary jar. I'm sorry, not Pat, Precision Pearl. I won't hear. Okay, let's go back and look. There's a blue, gold, and red. Or either that might be a lavender. It's kind of hard for me to. It, it, it looks more blue on here, but it's dark, darker, like a midnight blue, maybe. And then yellow and red. I don't know how to make it. Can you see it pretty good? Lucy. Oh, yeah. It's very pretty. Very, like a, a light blue. Well, it looks lighter on here than it. It's really darker. Maybe you can see the top right there. That's more the color it is, the darker. This is just looking light. I have all these windows shining in, reflecting on my glasses. Oh, and Maury, you want this? Oh, I'm so glad it's going to a good home. Love it like I do. And it's going to be gorgeous with your fairy lights in it. Yay, thank you, Maury. thank you, thank you. Thank you, Maury. Thank you, thank you. You're going to have to send us another picture of your, your Definitely. lights. Definitely. I saw that. Those are gorgeous. And that was my two. All right. Okay. I think I saw, did I show all my glasses? I think so. Kind of, not really. Okay, let me grab this. Ah, I don't want to break anything. <laughs> this is a very cute, kind of like a wall pocket. I mean, it could be a wall pocket if you hung it on the wall. And it's a little, like, purse. Like a, looks like they had stuff for putting like floral arrangements in there. I would stick maybe some like, oh yeah, that's flower foam. Smelly good, like poke there. And it's really cute. It's, um, I would say terracotta material with flowers. And I'm gonna start this out at $5. And I'm gonna call it a string pocket because it's not actually a wall pocket, not act I don't know what to call it, but you know. You can hang it on the wall. It just doesn't have a hole in it. Super cute. And then this is like my favorite thing ever. So um it won't hurt my feelings if you don't buy it. And it's a little lily lily leaf. <laughs> ceramic face and it's got little frogs on it and they're like hugging each other and it chips or cracks you know it's got some like pinhole pops from being in the kiln and it's let's see the bottom's just some kind of I don't think anyone signed it but this is gonna be $30 start I know it's a lot but it's it's like one of my favorites starting bit frog and it's uh, a really nice ceramic I got it from the estate so with that lady that made her own ceramics in the kiln and all that good stuff and this like stood out to me more than her other pieces so that's what I picked up and then, like, pretty frogs okay and then that's my two Okay. I get to watching her and I forget. I, oh, yeah, I got to take a turn in a minute. <clears throat> I have $5 on this little planter. 
it is it does have the look of the like 1940s and 50s with the little blue jeans and stuff on it it does have crazing from the age it is old and um it uh, it's not chipped or anything that's just the way the hat looks she is an adorable little girl i love the little like she's up to something thinking about something i love her little toes again she's five dollars shade back on me see those little blue jeans how they look that's royal copley that's a pretty cute little piece oh is it it's not marked but i i love it i love it and i have a lot of little planners and i i was like mm, I, I got too much i need to let something go so i have to pick and choose i have to pick and choose I know okay that. that's fine then i have a big beautiful it's a cobalt blue it's way darker it's kind of a little bit of ombre but it's darker than it's showing up on here with a gold rim and um i have 10 on it and it is let me tell you how tall it is the little planter was seven inches tall i measured it for i got on here but let me see this right here is right at nine inches tall but it it is beautiful it would be even pretty on the floor with something you know tall in it and all because it is just that pretty it even has a little bit of the gold around the bottom i forgot about that i had it for 15 but i marked it to 10 today So ten or five, that and that's my two. Hey, these kind of match, y'all. Huh? <laughs> that's my two. Okay. So next up, I have um this cute little handkerchief. It is got an elephant on it. It's very like Indian Moroccan thing. And it's got some little brown elephant heads around the center elephant head. And I think the edges are rolled. And this is more of a modern piece. I'm, you know, I'm sure you can tell. Percent cotton. And it's going to be a $3 start. And that's for the little elephant. Um, handkerchief, and then next up, I have this. You have Maury for three. Oh, thank you, Maury. This one is a like a shawl or a wrap, almost. And I got it again at an estate sale, and it's like fancy. I don't know. It's very um almost burlap looking, but it's definitely not that tech. It's got these little bedazzle looking brass tone beads on it. And it's got fringe on the edges. Maury, Eddie's trying to battle four dollars. And and this is gonna be an eight dollar start it's super comfortable it's good for like chilly nights um because you can take it on and off and i'm gonna write shawl thing but it does have no shape to it it's like one big rectangular thing what is it made out of lucid the rest i'm not sure if there's even a tag on this um <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's very light and thin. But no, there's no tag. Oh, wait, a lie. Huh. So this is by Aldo. And it is an acrylic, which is why it feels soft. <laughs> and it's a one size. Ow. And more is in for eight for the shawl. And Eddie's in for four for the handkerchief. Oh, and I stepped on a piece of glass. Oh no, Lucy, you okay? Oh yeah. I just got it out. Okay. And Maury says elephants. Maury, you're in whoa. 
Okay. Not shawl. Oh, Maury in for eight dollars for the elephant thing. Okay, I got you, Maury. Eddie, Maury power bidded you all the way to eight dollars. <laughs> and if anybody's interested, y'all uh, let me know. I'm gonna throw it back to Teresa. And thank you very much. I knew she loved that. I didn't think she'd have a battler though. <laughs> way to go, Maury, with the battle. I have a three dollar um, basket. It's seven inches tall to the handle, five to here. Three dollars. Are they still battling? Let them battle. Yeah. He's like Eddie. Why do you want my my scarf? <laughs> let them go back and let them battle. Oh, okay. I'll like hold it up. Yeah, yeah. Go back and let them battle. Oh, I'm still. That's the okay. name of the game. That's the way it works. <laughs> Maury's like Eddie why and Maury's in at 15 Eddie just let me know when you're out bud that is beautiful now everybody battles Maury for the scarves I feel bad I battled her hardcore for that Florida scarf elephants are Alabama roll tide oh my god oh, Eddie, no. now you're my favorite student with that comment roll tide All right, Eddie says 18. Holy Eddie, Morgan says 25. Oh, wow, y'all gonna make me cry! <laughs> Way to go, y'all! Bid it up, it's an auction. I mean, I knew it was a cute scarf when I picked it up, but I did not imagine it's an auction now. Look. <laughs> All right, Maury's sitting at 25. Eddie, are you, you would you like to battling Maury? Because I don't think she's gonna back down. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, oh. one <laughs> I'm way, sorry, Eddie. <laughs> way to try, Eddie. Way to try. Thank you for y'all's bids and thank you more. All right, here's Teresa. Way to go. I love when it becomes a real auction. Again, a three dollars for the little basket, and it's five inches to here and seven to the handle. The base is just five. So, you know, you think about it what you want to put in it. And it is new, it still had a little tag thing here on it. Three dollars for that one. Let me retype that. Okay. Yeah. Hilarious. And I have another one for three dollars. And it's about the same height as the inside, but to the top. We got right at eleven inches to the very tip top of this one. And it's very pretty. It has this little darker color brown and then the lighter and it has the little openings here. The handle's really pretty. I like the way the handle does. Three dollars on either one. Those are nice. That's like heavy duty. You put your remotes in there, and when company comes over, you hurry up and you scoop everything into the basket, and he goes stick it in the other room. Oh, I know all about camouflage cleaning, and yes, the baskets really help with camouflage cleaning. That's what I've always called it. Okay, that's my two. All right. Eddie, you know how hard it is for me to find a Alabama t-shirt in Louisiana, right? <laughs> You're in Georgia. You live by Alabama. Teresa, Teresa can find us some Bama shirts, I bet. Yeah, okay. probably so. <laughs> um, also, called and typing in the chat. Let's see. I still have this, and I think it's a great book. It's one dollar. Three step vegetable. Um, tells you how to garden for vegetables. You know, we saw the shortage um, happen yesterday, and everybody freak out. So, oh, you are in Alabama. I thought you were in Georgia, and so um, you know. 
the price of everything just went up so the price of everything's probably gonna go up again except for gas i think they put a, a limit on that <laughs> so anyway one dollar gardening book and if you have young children it's very 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 important to teach them skills like this okay more and before all their skills are gone and all they can do they're gonna um what you might call it evolve into little strong thumbed children i know i'm weird okay and then <laughs> With hunched backs. That's what I imagine we're going to evolve into. And then this was, again, another thing I showed yesterday. I'm just going to start it at a dollar. It's a clothing book. And if you are a clothing retailer, it tells you about every type of clothes there is. A jacket, suit, coat, shirt, pants, everything. It's got an index. So if you've got something, you're like, I don't know what to call this. Here's your clothing book. One dollar. Clothing book. Okay, and I see Heather is liking the gardening book. <laughs> that's your, that's, yes. Heather Crafts. Yeah. That's, that's your daughter, right? Okay. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Sue, so I still do have um shawl. This one with the fringe and the, um like pyramid shape things and that's my two let me know if you'd like it in the chat sue and here's teresa i gotta go grab something <laughs> okay i'm marking this down from uh, i had 12 i'm marking it to eight it is a table runner it's very pretty and you can do it either solid sides maybe even for a holiday for solid or whichever it does have a pretty little design and if you're a reseller it's you know, still in its package like new. So I have eight dollars on it today. Then I have another basket. And um it it has been used, but it's still in perfectly good condition. I have five dollars on it, and it is a larger size. Yeah. It's, I think it's a 10 by 10. Yeah, it's a 10 by 10, and it's right at 12 inches tall, so it's larger. You could put owls or anything you want to in it, but because it is larger, and it, it's still in good shape. I have a little bit of something going on there, but I mean, it was used very lightly. That's five on the basket. Or eight on the table runner. I'll show you it again. I want to say it. Well, it says it's a home goods product. I can't think of what it came from. Eight or five. And that are you ready, Lucy? I'm ready. That's a really pretty table runner. Thank you. Um so next up, I have some ephemera. This is the wildest bunch of ephemera I ever found. And so this one says, makes children as fat as pigs, and it's gross, tasteless, chill tonic. And it's got like a, a pig body. This is a house that's falling in from the 1980s in Canada. This is Bourbon King's Fine Roasted Coffees. And these are all postcards. This is Honeymoon Brand, Coffee and Chicory. And here's that. This is Campari and Orange. And it's like a little pink lady with a really, really, really bad tan, I think. But I don't know. Dixie Lane Coffee. <laughs> it just looks like a fake tan. Um, this is super oh, awesome. Magic. And this is a hand thing person. And then this is an angel with all kinds of like all kinds of like things going on around it. So that's going to be a ten dollar start for the bunch. Christy says, "Coffee." Okay. 
Another starting bait, ephemerate. Coffee in the ephemerate pile, Christy. If nobody gets it, I'm, I'm going to put it in But yes, I would like some coffee. <coughs> okay, so my second item is this pretty pink um, Fenton hobnail bowl. I absolutely love, love, love. That. Close your eyes, close your eyes. You don't need more stuff. <laughs> You're like me. We have to hide from each other. Um, right. This is going to be a $30 start. It is. Oh, I would say, geez, six, six inches across and about five inches tall. Now, these are rough measurements with my hands, so, and I'm a woman, but I think that's pretty close, five by six. Oh, it's Tia's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Tia. I hope you're having a good day. It is pretty. It's a nice piece of Fenton. 30 pink Fenton. It's a ruffled bowl. I think it's just a dish. It's for pretty or nice. This looks good. And then, um, Lordy B. What else did you have? That, was, that must have been my two. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like looking around. And when we go in fast like this, you can do more and more. I have these amber glass glasses. Uh, one dollar each. You want one or two of them, however you want them. They don't have any markings that I can see. Just some sticker residue. But um, they are in good condition. Showing this reflected my... They are vintage, this amber glass. Dollar each on them. That is okay. a heck of a deal. Mm -hmm. Then I have this pretty red butter dish. And I had eight dollars on it, but I'll mark it to five today. And it is a home essentials butter dish. It is made in China. It is not Pioneer Woman. A lot of people have mistaken it for a Pioneer Woman. But for five dollars, if you do red, red's my favorite color. Let me show you it's in good five on that. Five on the butter dish, a dollar each on the glasses. And that's my two. Okay, and so Polly was asking where you ship from. She Mississippi. Ship, yep, Mississippi, and I'm next door in Louisiana, so right. we're not too Happy far. Happy birthday to you. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. All right. How about I just grab some jewelry since it's here? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a really nice piece need to like okay it has these two little hooks and you just hook it on there and it's complete but they need to be squeezed with like a um tool which i can do for you i just haven't gotten around to it anyway this is really old poisonary. um it's got a sterling little old clasp i got this from the estate sale of an old jeweler in an old town children were selling off all his belongings probably because he had too much stuff anyway this is forty dollars i know it's quite a bit but you don't find old cloisonne very often with an old sterling cute little clasp and so there's that and then I have this, let's see, I have too much stuff and I don't know what to pick next. Okay, cool. Here's a red bracelet and it's beaded and I'll start it at a dollar and it's got these little sparkly diddles on there and it just fits right around your wrist like that. One dollar. Starting big bracelet, and that's my two. Oh, 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 I'm trying to unmute you. I was echoing, so I muted you. Okay, there you go. Sorry, no, you're great. Okay, I have this candle holder with the burlap and the wood, the distressed wood look. 
It was regular $34.99 and I'm going to sell it for $8 today. And it has glass in here so that you can put a candle in it if you would like. And I'll show you the... I don't know if I will or not. Let's see. There we go. Maybe. Focus. And it is about 10 inches tall. And if you like this kind of decor, I have another piece like it. And I'm going to let it go for eight, too. And it is a like an iron type bottom. And I did have 10 on it, but I'm going to mark it to eight. And it's a candle holder or your stone holder. Your little, I don't know what to call them. The little, is it a spear? I don't know. I'll be said it wrong. And this one right here is really tall. It's about uh, almost 16 inches tall. You would have some, a really, you could set up, start setting up a room to go with this. Country cottage, core, shabby chic, whatever you want to call it. Southern living. That's what I like about this. So eight on either one. Yeah, they're fit. And the thing is, they're, this one's, a, I don't know, maybe two pounds, but this one right here is barely a pound. So it wouldn't be bad to ship them together. It wouldn't be too much weight. I like the look of those okay. a lot. Thank you. My two. Come down here. All right. So let's see that here. This is some kind of jewelry jar. And here we go. It's this tall. I could go ahead and fill it all the way up. Um well we'll just put it all the way up for you guys. It's just full, filled with randomness. Some are broken. Some need repair. There's a lot of bracelets. They've got some like blue necklaces towards the bottom. Good and morning, Laura. Good morning. Laura. That Laura. And then it's got like this statement piece. Ah. It's kind of big. Um. I'm going to start it out at a dollar. Hey, Frank. And go to bed. I know you didn't sleep last night if you're up this early. Okay. And let's see. I'll let it, but I'm not going to take it out of the bag. It's a really pretty metal piece with some strangling's on there. We'll add that there. Um, you got a start of eight. Nice. This is cool. I think it needs some repair. No, Laura, they, but... they didn't have it. Oh. Let's see. Good God. I have this giant. Enormous tub of jewelry next to me, and I'm like trying to ask for things that aren't broken, which are all towards the bottom. Um, um, I don't know. Any other interest besides Polly's projects? It's filled to the top, basically. It's probably a couple pounds. Is the jar going to go? Oh, no. I mail it separate because the jar is super heavy. I mean, if you want the jar, you can. Frank, you working now? Go ahead. Tree says your but it is for sale. I'm reading the chat too much. I'm lost. Okay. Any more interest? That's it. Sold to Bali's projects. Bali's projects. Like. Eight dollars. Okay. And then my next item is going to be um this lovely creamer. Ten dollars. Little opalescent. Got it from Alex at Chapter Two Vintage. No markings, cute. 
and I think you will like it. Hey, Rose. Oh, I'm sure oh, I've been through all my jewelry, but I doubt there's anything super special. I like the dig, so I always go through it. It just ends up back in a big giant. Okay. <laughs> and here's Teresa. I have this vintage made in Japan uh, wall hanging for the kitchen and it's got the places to put your pot holders on it if you want it. And it says old coach house Br Russell. Is that how you say that? I don't know how you say that. Anyway, and it, it has Brussels, yeah. Yes, you're right. I looked at it, couldn't say it. My brain went away. Anyway, you hang your um whatever you want to on here, your pot holders. It's nice by your stove, but then you or you can use it for a hot plate. But it's is cast iron and this is ceramic and it is vintage. It says it back here made in Japan. I, I already know it's vintage because it was my aunt's and it hung on her wall for many years. Oh, and it's um I got it for two dollars. I don't think I said how much. Two dollars. The cast iron alone, you know, that's really popular and worth a lot. But if you like this kind of stuff in your kitchen. Okay. And next I have staying with kitchen. I have on uh, plates. I have four of these exactly like and they're JC Penny Home Collection. That's what I thought that uh paper runner, it was JC Penny reason it was you can have a set of four of these for six dollars and they are very nice i'm gonna say they're 10 inch plates yes they are they're 10 inch plates and they're they're pretty white they're maybe an off white a little bit but i would call them white they're very nice dinnerware and i have a set of four of them here exactly like this six dollars if you're interested So the plates for six and this for two. And that's my two. All right, you guys, let us know if you're interested in either of those. Um, next up, I have the leaning vase. It leans to the left or it leans to the right, however you look at it. Or it could lean back. And it's a uh, Irish Shannon Crystal. And it is a $10 start, cute little vase, and it's yay big, so I'd say 10 inches. Right, 10 inches, $10 crystal, and it still has a vase. I don't know why it leans, you guys. I, it's beyond me. Part of the decor. Yep. And I like that's different when I saw it. Oh my God. I'm struggling. I'm on the struggle bus today. Let me know if you get too tired now, Listen, We are in. Don't you wear yourself out. Oh no. I'm just trying to. Move back and forth. Okay. We're selling quickly like this. It takes a lot of items to show to y'all. Uh -huh. I'm like looking behind me. What do I have? I don't think I did this little blue creamer yet. It is $10 also. It is hand blown. It's got little bubbles in it, but they're not controlled. Cute little handmade piece. $10. Bye now. Are you holding my stuff or did you ship? I still have it, Sugar Plum. I'm ready to ship whenever you are. You say the word. And that's what two. Okay, Teresa. I'm go load up. Okay, this is a little cat. It's white and it's glazed, but it, it's kind of got a different looking little face. Might be a little scary to some people, but for one dollar, it is made in Brazil. I love cats, no matter what they look like. That's one dollar. 
Then I have this vase here, and I, I had it marked, I think, seven or so, but I'm going to let it go for three today. It, it's got the, it is a more modern. It has a little gold here, and it has the uh, crackling that I call it the artificial, and I don't know, crackling. Um, it'd be really pretty, like, for, with a rose or something in it. Still has its tag. Let me make you see. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's seven, about seven inches tall. So the vase for three or the cat for one. Did you find something, Lucy? Yeah, I got some stuff. I wanted to make it for a couple rounds. But Good. blue cream. It's it was a different blue creamer. Thank you, Michelle, for looking out the appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Um, she got the hobnelly one. Those are cute. <laughs> okay, so next up I have this little wire thing with like amber tone flower beads and stuff be ditties all around. You probably put a little dish inside there or you put a little jar with a candle you know that kind of thing so this is three dollars and so just let me know type three and try if you're interested in that right. and then i got this really cool piece of i don't know what to call it i call it blue willow except it's red but it's got the blue willow on it with the little willow tree um and it's old the the back is blank you can tell by the like you know the inventions and the coloring and the stuff on the back that it's an older piece um i'm trying to get the sticker off so you can see the image. but it's the typical blue willow pattern but instead of being blue, it is red. Read my post. I did answer you. Good, I think. Oh, good. I want leaning vase and postcards, please. To each right. Yes, yes. Got you, uh, Sugar Plum. And then this is going to be $5. And it is the little red blue willow thing. And that's my two, and I will write you down for that sugar plum. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much. I've got boxes and packing and stuff back there right now. So it's kind of a mess, but thank you. Okay, this um, tray is from Alabama. I have one dollar. I had three, but I'm marking it to a dollar today. Um, and it is a 10 tray. Reminds me of Miss Pam. So I have that one. And then I have one for Tennessee. Same thing. It was three and I'm marking it to a dollar. It has the um, iris. I guess that must be their state flower. And this one had the camellia. So a dollar, either one you want for a dollar. Try not to blind y'all with the light here. I mean, and if nobody else comes in, I'll take both of them. I don't want to leave one by itself. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's my two. Okay. Those are gorgeous. Okay. I like the Irish on the Tennessee. But I like Alabama because it's Alabama. All right. Here is some drawer liner and it's Lily of the Valley. And I hear this used to be like the poo back in the day. I don't think anybody's ever used it unless it is serrated. Oops. Huh? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It is a 16 and a half inch by 100 which the box is i can't guarantee it's that long but it's it's got a good bit of paper there 
and it said it had instructions about like oh yeah the perfume in crabtree and evelyn's drawer lining roll is applied to the paper in encapsulated form it's stays sealed until handled when perfume is released in the surface so anyways it's this cute little blue and um it smells good and it's drawer liner and it's gonna be a five dollar start lily of the valley drawer lining roll so that and it smells good too okay next up i have this adorable little um cherub by toma it's a little bisque baby and he's got white hair and little cute eyelashes, luxurious lashes. That's the word I'm looking for. And his wings are in excellent condition. He's got no chips or cracks. He's still got his little sticker. And I'm going to put him at $3. I mean, it could be a her. It's hard to tell when they're little babies. $3 chair. Oh, thank you, ladies. Okay. So it's adorable. I'm not going to lie to you. And then here is Teresa. Sorry for the noise. I got my puppy wanting to play ball in the middle of this. I have these really cute little figurines. They're identical, I believe. I had two on them. I'm going to mark them to a dollar today if you want one of them or both of them. Um, they are made in China, but they are still very pretty. There's no damages on them. I'll do one front, one back. We got sweet little faces. Oh, I love the lashes. Little, yeah, I do too. And the little bird, dollar each, one my or two, whatever. C, my C um button keeps going out. I'm sorry, people. Oh. I know I'm writing okay. in higher topics. <laughs> it's all right. Then I, I have this. I'm going to let it go for five today. And it is very vintage. Little candelabra. Little, uh, it is brass. Match your butterflies, Lucy. <laughs> oh, no. You don't need it, though. I was thinking about it stand that. Up. It stands up on its own. And the highest part of all of it is about eight inches tall. It'd be very pretty. Anytime, really, but at the holidays and all. Lord, that's pretty. Okay. That, that's my two. All right. Oh, my God. I'm eventually going to die. There's so much stuff around this. I know. Okay. So this is two cute little fake oil paintings, but they're old. They, they're of children and their dog, dogs. So this one is, I believe, three little girls. I know they dressed boys funny back then. And a, um, like a larger breed dog. And this one is of a little boy, two girls, and two little like puppies, or a mama and its baby maybe. And I will do, the two of them together for eight dollars. Old home interiors before the home go. Huh. Bees? I don't know. Probably my candle. Oh. And they've got a little hangy do on there and little tacks so they don't mess up your wall on the like edges. Super cute. They're probably like four by threes, maybe. So there's that. And then I have a pair of driving gloves. They're super nice. Um, again, estate sale. They are, let's see, Aris Isotoner, 181% nylon, 19% spandex. But they help you like grip your, the candle holder. Yeah. Holder, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they fit like so they fit snow, like snow etchy. Etchy. They're grippy. They're grippy. And you get the pair for uh five dollars. Driving gloves. 
And there's one. No, that's my two. I had the uh, kids. Ha. Huh. Here's Teresa. And I'm going to, there you go. My doggy says, if you ain't going to play ball, you got to hold me. Oh. And I've done it. Thank you, Maury. This is yeah, Carnival Glass. I have $8 on it. It weighs about two pounds. But it's very pretty. It's got that pretty top. And it has a beautiful um, grate in the pedestal. That little round knobby pedestal, which is like hobnail bumps in it, too. And it's very vintage. That's Again, a hard have eight color. Color. I'm sorry. That's a hard color to come by. That's a nice piece. Yes, it's very nice. Okay. And then I have two of these um mystic warrior plates and i will i'll take five a piece on them they are different i'll show you the difference they are numbered they are in a series of them let's show you I'm trying to get the glare off oh he's handsome <laughs> <laughs> Again, they are marked on the back, the series. This is a Sun Seeker. Wow. I like the horse running. Very pretty. Okay, the plates are this. And that's my two. Okay. Y'all. Thank you. The native pieces, they're becoming super, super expensive and popular lately and that carnival glass oh my god when lana sees that green carnival glass she's going to be okay so fancy purses all right whitting and davis is a well-known fancy purse bag designer this is a gold metal mesh bag by whitting and davis it still has this little tag in the bag with its brand and you can see how the bag is attached, like they sew it through these little metal loops. And so very minimal wear there. And then it is missing its chain. So the chain does need to be replaced. These usually sell for around like a hundred dollars. I want to say I'm asking 20. It's cute. It's got the little clamp tap. Just needs a, to be repaired. I probably just need to stick my pocket watch chain on there and be done with it. So there's the wedding of David. He does have nice abs. What? That second one is really Okay. So Maury's in for the wedding in David. Thank you, Maury. And then. This one, I want to say there was some kind of condition issues with it. Maybe not. Oh, yes. There's a little tiny, like, puncture. And, like, right here where I'm tapping. I'm going to try to move it there. You can kind of see the little hole. And it's delicate. So, like, I wouldn't use it too much. This is eel skin. So, um... It's made in Korea and it's genuine ill skin. It is a little wallet. It is super fancy and it snaps in the corner. Again, $20 ill skin. I've never felt leather so soft. <laughs> yes, the ill skin bags are very soft to the touch and the metal mesh bags by Whitting and Davis are as well. They feel really nice. And those were my two. Okay. Thank you. You want to set your table pretty with some desserts? 
you know, like you could put sherbet or ice cream. You can make a, a hot fudge sundae really nice. And I have a set of four and I'm going to sell them for a dollar a piece. So four dollars for the set. They are very, very pretty and they're all in perfectly good condition. I don't see a markings as far as who made them, but I can't hold all four of them up probably without making a mess. But I do have four. <laughs> one dollar each if you just want one or you want two or you want all four their scallop little ruffled edges are very pretty we have four okay. or five four I, I probably have more than that but right now in front of me i have four <laughs> okay and then next i just have these little very dusty little they're like little candle votive holders, and they're a mm -hmm. dollar a piece also. There's two of them. Yeah. Two for a, do a dollar each. So I have the candle votive holders or the dessert cups. Dollar, dollar, we had, dollar. We had dessert cups like that growing up. I did too. I did too. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. Got so much mm -hmm. stuff around me and so much more stuff to grab. Start oh. showing some of the first stuff. A lot of new people coming in. Yeah, yeah. Can I sell this? I don't think so. This is a um, green blown glass, like candle votive holder. It's got some little white accents in the glass, and there's its pontail mark. Pontail mark. And it's gonna be. I don't remember what I asked for it. From eight dollars. That's a that's a like excellent price. For brown glass, hand blown glass. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's very neat. I mean, you could use it as a glass, but that'd be kind of different. Um. Anyway, I was super pumped when I found that. And then I have, oh, one more deck of tarot cards. And this is has no marking on it <laughs> um so i don't remember which ones they are maybe it's the prisma visions tarot a set of cards to ease your mind yes that's what it is and so here's kind of what they look like on the back and this is what it looks like on the front and then maybe the chakra cards i i think i already sold the chakra deck though Anyway, these are a $12 start if anybody's interested. And that's my two. I've been looking for these. <laughs> they just appeared next to me. I have this vintage um, divided like vegetable tray. I had eight on it. I marked it to five today. It does have the mushrooms bell pepper, onions, eggplant, and it is raised in the back. It's textured and raised in the back to you know, keep it from sliding around. And it does have like a textured look to it. It's not just clear. And that's the tray is for $5 today. Let's see how it's divided so you can separate your vegetables. Okay. And also for five dollars, I have this little dip in uh, a little bowl, serving bowl with the little spoon. And I got five dollars on it too. And it is kind of heavy. This bowl, the tray is very heavy also. But, um, with the spoon, five dollars choice, whichever one you want. Right there. A cute little dip bowl with a spoon. Yeah, with the match and that thing. 
doesn't have any marks that I can see on it to tell me who it, but it's the um it's raised texture. Squirrels are raised. It's very, very pretty. Oh wow, yes. Yeah. You got some good good stuff today. It, you know, right. it it does have a little chip right inside there from probably where the spoon's been hitting it. I tell you what, if you want the if you don't want the bowl, or if you want it, I'll sell the bowl for two and this for two. If you don't want oh, it, whichever one you want. Those spoons so are ready for I knocked a, Yeah, I knocked a dollar off of it. It's just it's probably where this has been touching it. You could put something in it that you know wouldn't want to put like food you're gonna like eat in here yeah. maybe just put some decorative but this you could use with something else yeah these spoons are, are worth way more than two yeah. I, I hunt them all the time i didn't realize that that probably just got like that was just sitting in it banging it is old that one little chip is amazing that it's got just that That's it'd be funny. beautiful with some fair, with some lights in it or something or some vegetables, you know, the vegetables that you're going to take out and wash and eat or something. Or decorative eggs or your stones. Cool your stones in here. The pie. Stones, yep. Stones would be great. Okay, that's my two. All right, let us know if you guys are interested. Those are really great, great deals. Lana, YouTube tried to block your comment because you said happy hump day. Doesn't like Wednesday. Pat wants to spoon Teresa and she okay. asked if you able to place it inside of her package. Yes, because I've got it ready but not sealed. So yes, I can. I'll make it work, Pat. Thank you. Okay. Lana, the banana. Is it Lana that? I can't remember if it's Lana or Denise that wanted this, but I found it. It was the green diamond point dish. And they were asking me and asking me. It's got three feet on it. Um, it's $15. I forget he was trying to claim it. It was either Lana or Denise. <laughs> I know. I was like, that's why YouTube doesn't like Wednesdays. $15 green bitch. And it's Indiana Glass Company, I'm pretty sure. Thank you. And it's footed 30 feet. When I was talking about you, Teresa had something. And I was like, wait till Anna sees that green glass. And I can't remember what it was. Oh, I do. I remember. I'll show. <laughs> you remember? Okay. And I'm going to show some stuff I didn't sell earlier, guys. I don't think that one did. Ruby glass. Okay. So, Maury bought my crackle glass little red thing last time. I do believe I still have this one. Yes. Available. It's 15. It's an art glass. Um like cruet it's amberina and it's more of a ruby darker amberina like ruby red towards the top and then it's got this applied yellow handle that handle does glow and the base i'm pretty sure glows and here's bottom 15 dollars so red hey joanne cruet. good morning joanne and i'm gonna throw it on back to Teresa. I think that, yeah. Okay, Lana, this is the green she thought you would like. It is gorgeous. It is vintage. It is a carnival glass. It doesn't really show that so well on here, but it does have that. I have $8 on it. That's the great pattern. It is a gorgeous green. It's a very, very pretty. That's what I had showed that she said you'd like. I have Father's, Father's Day's in June. I know I can remember it's in June. My birthday's in June, but I can't remember the date or when it is. But it's on a Sunday in June. And for $1, I have the Father's Day gift. This is a 2012, but it's grown. 
brand new, like it doesn't have any damages at all to it. It has little special things for your father. One dollar if you're interested in the book. And yes, I know Aunt Mary and Betty would love it, but he's got so much stuff. He loves boat and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, and next for one dollar, I have these little um, word icons that you put in the little slidey board, uh, you know, like blackboard or whatever. It's 19 pieces and it's kitchen words. It's like uh, menu, wine, bon appetit, eat, and then it has like spoons, a cutting board, a whisk. An ice cream cone that's be up in here. One dollar. One dollar for either one of these. The words of the book. And eight on this. And that's mine. All right. That was a lovely piece of carnival glass. Um, let's see. I know I just showed these and they didn't sell. Stop I it, Pat said one, but one dollar. Which one did you want? The words or the book? Yeah. Sorry, Pat. Yeah. Let her know, Pat. Let's see what this is. This is something somebody bought. And, um,. I say bought. It's something somebody ordered, but it never got paid for. Okay, lettering. Thank you. Oh. No, that's not, that's not even exciting. Bo says, take me out, Mama. Pay attention. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I got a bag of pearls. They're different types of pearls. And different types of, none of them are Mardi Gras beads, I promise. Um, I know what those look like. And it's going to be a $8 start for this bag of pearl, faux pearl jewelry. I mean, there could be real stuff in there, but I don't think so. I don't know how to tell, but I don't think so. So there's that $5 pearl bag. And then I have this shelf liner paper. I'm gonna knock it down to three. Oh, which is the price I paid for it. So it's as low as I can go. Three dollars scented drawer liner, Lily of the Valley. She wants the letterings, Teresa. And then Lord B. Again, I still have this clothing book. It tells you all the dresses, how to name them, what type. Like it'll have all the different types of blazers, um, style and bulky knits and jackets. And if you're a clothing reseller, it'll definitely help you out. And that is one dollar for the clothing book, and that's my two. Oh, I, oh, let me unmute you. Hold on, hold on. It's not letting me un. There you are. Now you froze. Okay. Uh -oh. There you are. You're good now. Okay. All right. Four dollars per glass. I have a set of four mid-century modern teal and gray, heavy bottom. These are very nice glasses. Uh, if I had room, I'd keep them. <laughs> no chips, cracks, breaks of any kind. The other three, unless I do it. Here's the other three. A set of four. You want one or two or four? I have all of them. Okay. And I'm going to show the baskets again. Choice of basket, $3. This one, I like the handling. The little openings on this one. This one's really good. Like she said, put your remotes and I'll do your uh, camouflage cleaning real quick. So three choice of basket. 
four on the glass, and that's my two. Four each on the glass. Three on the baskets, four each on the glasses. I, mean, those glasses and I am determined to make a noise. Mm -hmm. Lana says three dollar baskets. Hey, you want both of them? It did say plural. And then precious ones. One, to two. Ooh, that one's. Lance is oh, the biggest. Oh, the uh, father. Oh, the biggest. Okay. Got you. And then I think Joanne, you you did you just show a book, Teresa? No, huh? No, maybe your clothes book. Your clothing yeah. book, maybe. I was just double checking. Okay. All right. That is very cool, sugar plum. And then the Lily of the Valley is shelf liner, not wallpaper. Oh, and Joanne would like your four glasses, please. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Let's roll back. Lana says three baskets, the biggest number two. Lana, you. Okay. I got it. Three dollars for the basket since she wants to. I, I got it. I understand yeah. Lana language. I speak it. Lana can Lana, I have a hard time understanding plain English, so sometimes <laughs> Okay, so I've shown these before. I think I show them again. They're um little wall basket thingy, my doodles. And they hang on your wall and hold things like this would be great for like your guest bathroom or your whatever you need <laughs> it's got little palm trees they look like hammer copper and it's like weaved basketry going on up in there and you could put like some fake moss or plant you can do whatever you want with that and that's ten dollars and that's number one and this is ten dollars and it's number two it is also a wall hanging basket thing and it's got these little arrows on the top it makes it look all, um, I don't know, hip with the times. And then <laughs> it's got a flat bottom. So if you have, like, I don't know, if you back your towers or put your little knickknacks in it, it's a good little display piece. Oh, Lily of the Valley's $3, Lana. I cut it down. That's the price I paid for it. And... So, number one, number two, one's a darker rattan, one's a lighter, like, jute type of cord. And that's my two. <laughs> that's my little musical play for y'all. These are vintage amber glass. One dollar each. One or two. Okay. And then I had the number one Kate Wilson pan, five dollars. Number one. Okay, so that's my two. Teresa, you got more stuff to show. Like new stuff or old? Stuff? It doesn't. We can go. We can go on anytime. No, I'm running out of things to show. I was just you gonna let you you. finish out the. Oh, you are? Yeah, keep oh, showing okay. what you didn't sell. Okay, all right, I sure will. And I'll keep you thinking. This is um, a beautiful, it, it's made, it's signed by, it's got some initials on it. So I, it's, somebody made a handmade it. It's got the little handles on it. I have 15 on it. Beautiful. It, it is just gorgeous to me. Hey, Nancy. Somebody said it looked like it come from a boutique. Boutique. <laughs> I guess so. Anyway, this one. A boutique. It yes, does. That's it's good. That. Iris. Fifteen on yet. Okay. 
I have five on this vase. It's gorgeous. And it is signed. Somebody's initials on it also. I'm going to get the glare off of it. But. It is very pretty. I never see it with the people on it. I always see like phoenixes and birds or stuff like that. This is a made in Korea $3 serving bowl for like mashed potatoes or corn. I must like those things. It always comes to mind. It's the blue, the 1990 Blue Bow Goose, but peace. I love them. I did my kitchen back in the day and I, I still like them. Then I had the. Um... Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. And Nancy. Nancy's in. And this is an Avon in box. It's vintage. I think it had 19, what did it have on? 70 something, I think. Or, no, 1982. I'm sorry. And it is a blueberry orange nut bread recipe. You could put it on an easel for decoration and then follow it for uh, to make it. But if you wanted to resell it, it does have the box. Pretty decent shape for that era of time. So, and I had, what did I have on this? I, I let it go for a dollar. Everybody's interested. You can resell it. He's giving it away, y'all. Y'all are here just in time. I need time. the room, y'all. I need the room. <laughs> then the red butter dish. I let it go for five. If anybody's interested in it, it is a a J.C. Penny home whatever. And I had eight on it, but I let it go for five. It is very it is very red. If you love red like we do. You will like the butter dish. Then I had the two Avon um, pieces. I let them go for a dollar. I had them for three. I let them you no know, choice. Poodle are the retro powder shaker. All still in very good condition. Has their labels. That's good for reselling with labels on them. I had the cat, one dollar. Tell me when to stop, Lucy. You got a one dollar cat? Oh my god. Yeah, one dollar. One dollar. Okay. Then I have this summer um, divided dish. I had eight dollars on it. I let it go for six. It's very pretty. Lana's in for the one dollar cat. Yay, Lana. Good, good. Then I have, um, I had this for 15. I let it go for 10. This is so gorgeous, y'all. It's big, but it's gorgeous. It has the gold. It's a pottery. Stop telling how much this cost when it was in the store. It's a cobalt blue. There's more of a better how it color is it gets lighter as it goes to the camera, but anyway, it's very pretty. Another basket, another basket for three. And I had a bigger, I got a bigger basket over there, but it's full of stuff. Let's see if I can get it without making too much racket. Lana's in for the ten dollar blue glass. Okay, let me write it down real quick because I my memory's three seconds long. So she wants like the cat for one and the vase for 10. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Don't take long to write it. It takes no time to write it down, but only a second for me to uh, forget about it. And this basket. I can... to go back and find it. Mm -hmm. I let this basket go for $3 too. If anybody wants it. Now, Lana, it's really big. You could put towels or anything you wanted to in it. Pick flowers beside anything you wanted to. So any of my baskets, I can let them go for three dollars. The Father's like Day the book for a dollar. I talk at all dollar on. <laughs> what? I said I talk at all the wrong times. Oh, you're fine, Lucy. You're fine. <laughs> And then I have this home goods candelabra. I can let it go for five dollars. And it's a brass. Your socks. Up. 
showing me that. Okay, I want it. Five dollars. Lose it. Listen, listen, listen. I'm um, sorry, baby. And, and you did see that private message about what I wanted from yesterday's sale, huh? I did. I did. Okay. I did. It's, it's a surprise gift. So good deal. Good deal. And then the little one dollar little boy sitting on a fence with the birds. They got gold trim. Those are adorable. I have two of them. They are so, so cute. Okay, let's pop off this and put it down over here. Look at them eyelashes. Luxurious lashes, bright blonde hair, bright blue eyes. I just want to know why these little boys are wearing lipstick. That's so cute, though. And then they got yeah. a little better <laughs> No, maybe it's a girl. They dressed them all kind of ways back in the day. They yeah. said, I think. I, well, the, I had these little plates. Five dollars, Joyce. And they are. They're the uh, Mystic Warrior Collection Limited. Um, Editions, nineteen ninety-two. Five dollar choice, and that—that's everything. Okay. You don't have it. You don't have anything else to show. I guess I could show a little bit of what didn't sell for me. Okay. Um, Thank y'all so much. Let me make it to where there's both of us on screen, so I don't get lonely. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I have this ah, little baby chair, and he's super cute. I'll do three dollars on him. He's got a belly button, just like all of us. Toma. I wish we lived closer so we could go. Yes. Oh my God. If I didn't have to pack, I'd be a rich girl. I think. So. Cause everything costs so much all the dang bulb and all that there's a lavender pretty um heavy i don't even know what you call these to be made out of and it's philippines and it's like um got a race pattern it has wear to the color and i'll let that go for six love you maury thank you for your support Yes, thank you, Maury, so much. Oh, my God. The set. You have a question. You have a question from Pat. Pat, Pat, can you do 20 on the pink bowl? Oh, shoot, Pat. I cannot do 20 on the pink bowl. I can't. I paid way more. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. I have to put that up on eBay and try to recruit recoup some of my losses. I bought a big. And I ended up having to pay $150 to ship it. <laughs> Shenango, China. So I thought I was going to be giving everybody a great deal. And then it came out not so great. Okay, 25. Okay, if you're twisting my arm, I'll take 25. <laughs> At least I'm less broke. Um, so there's the Shenango, China. It is very pretty. It's texturized. I can do $2 on that. And this is four bowls and three little sauce cups of Buffalo China. And I'll do the whole set dollars. Well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. How about seven dollars for the whole set of Buffalo China restaurant where I have these two little kid pictures. Hey, I don't have train tracks. No, thank you, Pat. Um, I appreciate it. And these two little pictures are, I could do um, two first six. I don't know what I was asking, but I love them. I just have a hard time putting holes in my walls because the walls are like solid wood. This again, I had knocked down to $3. Um, it was a drawer liner, Lily of the Valley. 
Um, so, so. I have this little red blue willow. I know that makes no sense. <laughs> it's the blue willow pattern. It's got the willow trees and everything, but it's in red. It's really old, and it is three dollars. And then I still have this thing that I think would hold a candle, um, but if but it, it's got oh no amber tone beads on it, and we're gonna pretend my phone's not ringing, <laughs> and it's gonna be two dollars. Which one is it? Transfer? Oh. No. Well, it's really old, Lana. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. I found yeah. a pile I didn't show. <laughs> oh, well, good, because I'm done, and I'm going to throw you back up there to show what you got. I put some stuff over to the side, and I forgot that. Remember, this is the little uh, planter. And Maury would like us to invoice ASAP. No problem, Maury. I have a box ready for you to go after today. Yeah, I, I always invoice quickly. Right away, yeah. I love, I love her little toes. And uh, I have $5 on her. Again, that's and a royal. Right. This is a $1 single little strawberry. It does have the little stopper in it. Salt and pepper shaker. You could put powdered sugar in it, or you could just use it for decor. You could do something else. Then I have the slag glass for five dollars. That's about as cheap as I can go on it. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I think it's cool. Yes, ma'am, is Pat. This is Avon ruby red Avon little goblet. We used it for a candle holder. I put it Joanne in the freezer and got the Joanne would like a girl for five dollars. Okay. Girl. And your daughter would like the red glass. Okay, Heather. Got it. Your mom is gonna charge you double, Heather. Double. <laughs> Bet you to walk it right out the door to her. <laughs> <laughs> And we have this little apothecary jar. I had eight. I marked it five. It is oh. so pretty. It is it is gorgeous. She wants my red plate. Tell your daughter to go shopping in your house. You have enough stuff for her. But yes, I'll write you down for it. Yes, do that. She, um, she has everything red. She loves red. Oh, okay. I love that red. We will have stuff too, in which... um. I have some more, Heather. You're welcome to come get. Out of my way. She just is like me. She can't stand to watch and not buy something. I know. Five dollars. This is a very nice, you know, it's got some weight. Not real, real heavy, but it's, you know, got some weight. It probably weighs about 10, 12 ounces, I'm sure. But I had five on it. And now I do believe... That I have showed everything. I would look over there and I said, Well, there's a pile you didn't re show. Okay, well, so. we have Joanne in for the Dutch Boys for a dollar each. Okay, got it. That slide glass piece is very pretty. I'm shocked and appalled that nobody wanted it. No, I'm kidding, but I am surprised. You know, you're going to end up selling that to me if you keep showing it. <laughs> um, no, the Lily of the Valley drawer paper did not sell, Nancy. It's three dollars for the roll. Would you like it? Um, hold on. I don't believe it's ever been used, but it it's open, so it could have been. And they said you just wipe it, and it makes the smell come back. Box says, but um, okay, got you for it, Nancy. Wind them drawers for that overstuffed house. 
What a long time we have had again today. I'm loving these morning sales. Y'all are helping. Hey, Miranda. Hey there. Y'all are helping my granddaughter's uh, benefit that we do for her. That's why people donate the stuff to me and it's going to her. And I just enjoy getting on here and talking to y'all. Y'all know I always got in the chat and talk and talk. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Lisa, I'm not, if you're not done, you keep on going. Oh, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you guys. It like really means a lot that y'all show up for us in the mornings. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I'll do it any morning, Lucy, to April. Now she, I have to make sure she feels like it. Yes. Tomorrow I do have a doctor's yes. appointment. I don't think it's till 1.30, but I know Chacha is supposed to have a cell. I don't know what time hers is, so we'll have to talk about tomorrow. And then, um, hers is in the afternoon, afternoon, afternoon usually. Okay, well, then, yeah, 10 o'clock tomorrow. How about 10 o'clock for the rest of the week, 10 a.m.? Um, except for Saturday and Sunday. How about we take the weekend? I'll be off? there. Okay, right, right. Sunday's church, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank y'all. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.